So guys, do you want to see how I track the performance of one of my accounts? Please do like and subscribe and check this out. Travis again from Rebirth Holdings, another video for you on this Easter Sunday. Now, there's a lot of you guys trading in the market or getting started in the market and everyone forgets the basics and the core of trading in elements such as journaling. Now, there's different ways to journal, everybody knows that, but there's two ways of journaling that you should be doing in tandem of one another. So again, putting all your thoughts in, like a little diary, again, always useful, end of each week how you've got on, how your emotions have been, um, et cetera, et cetera, on a day-by-day -day trade, if not. Um, but then you also have the analytics of it all. So again, it's good to kind of get your personal and emotive perspective from everything. But you also still need to be looking at the nitty gritties of how you performed. So again, with performance, you've got to, you can view these things in different ways. For me personally, I look at and use dashboards. Now, again, dashboards, guys, they're simply, they collect a lot of data from different charts, different pieces of information, different data, collective information, and summarise it on one simple sheet in graphs, pie charts, etc. Nice, clean way and efficient way for you to review your trading, ideally the end of each week, definitely the end of each month. You can find so many different websites to do this for you, but for me personally, I like to input my data myself. Simply due to the fact of me having that extra involvement in a bit of journaling, I take it in a bit more. Sometimes when all these websites can generate your data for you, you don't really take it seriously because it's just there for you. Do you even look at it? Maybe, maybe not. But if you simply have to input something in every single time, you're gonna, you put work into that, even if it was two minutes, 10 minutes, you will now take the time to look at your data, look at your performance and see how you're getting on. So we're going to switch over to the computer and I'm going to show you where, how I dashboard and how I put all my data together. Again, if this is something that I'm going to do on a weekly basis, I want to keep it simple, um, not time consuming. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So the example that I'm going to go through is one of the accounts that I trade. Again, over the last six weeks, I'll show you the performance and how I measure it and how I can use that information to better my trading for the next week and month. So please do appreciate this. Please do like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so in front of you is my Forex dashboard over the past six weeks. So again, what this allows me to do is collect lots of data from simple sources such as my MetaTrader 4 account on my phone. So all this information can be accessible from your handheld device and input it into the back data sheets to create something like this. So let me break down what's in front of you. So again, we're on week 14, just the 14th week in the year. Again, this account was started six weeks ago. And again, you can call it whatever you want. That's just my personal account, which I label there. So from left to right, just to let you know, you have your win percentage done weekly. You've got your weekly profit and loss, so how much you've made or lost within a week. The year to date profit and loss from where the account started at zero. Profit, that is where you've kind of been in a negative or positive. And then you've also got the year to date, currency pair success, split by profit, profit split by currency pair, I should say, and then your best and worst trading days. Again, this is all information that I can get within minutes and it will take me minutes to input. input. Again, it could be a lot more details for yourselves in regards to how deep you want to go and create your dashboards. But for me, I've not got four hours on a Saturday or Sunday to import data just to check my performance. So this will take me about five minutes. I'm happy with that. Hopefully you guys can take some knowledge from this. So just to take you through my step-by-step -step thought process of what I would be going through when I'm looking at this data. Again, I'll be looking at my win percentage, seeing if it's been increased or decreased. Be looking at the trades by weekly in regards to what went wrong potentially. Um, what I can also do now guys is scroll down just to show you a summary of this dashboard. All right, just before the battery dies, let me plug that in. But let me show you, if I scroll down, a summary of how this dashboard reads out. So I might lose you for a second if I go to full screen, but if you do, no biggie, the content is still there. Okay, 
So just open up that wide screen for you guys. As you can see, just to summarize the year today, a win percentage is just under 60%. My average weekly profit is 1,025 euros. Year to date profit and loss, the best traded pair for myself, the success on that traded pair, the best trading day for myself across six weeks, and the percentage of that trading day. Now, to talk you through the full process of myself in regards to what I'd be looking at when I look at this each weekend, is quite simply how one counteracts the other. So for example, a win percentage slightly down this week, so it's around the, I think it's around the 47% mark. Why was that? I would go back to my diary and see what currency pairs I said that impacted me on this certain day. So for example, um, it could have been a USD JPY. And what I've then used in that example is knowing that when I trade any other currency pair besides Euro USD, Aussie dollar, USD chef, I tend to have a worse off performance success with currency pairs. So if you can see here, other currency pairs traded as an overall, I lose more when I'm not trading my top three currency pairs. And again, that is then shown in a pound amount. So whenever I trade any currency pair other than these three, my average tends to come out as a loss. So I then look at my Metro 4, my diary, and realize, yeah, I traded more other currency pairs this week. Therefore, my success rate in regards to win percentage may be down. What I can then also take a look at is the trading days. So I lost more, for example, this week, let's just say. Um, so what days were heavily impacted? Then again, I would then, once we input in this data, can realise I traded more on the Monday. And overall, my performance on the Monday, I tend to lose more than I win. So again, these are massive and good indicators that can kind of lead you on into the next week. But then also, you can have also look at this from an overall perspective and an overall outcome. So again, since this account's been going the past six weeks, the year-to-date profit is on a nice, sturdy curve. So as you can see, floating around the 6,100 year-to-date profit for the, across the six weeks. Now again, another thing you can take into consideration is being strict on yourself. So what's the goal for next week? So I know any time I trade any other currency pair, the average comes out as a loss. And if that average, if I didn't trade these pairs over the past six weeks, that profit would be, well, 1,500 pounds more. So what we'll be looking for in going into next week is potentially looking at what's the best traded pair, Euro, USD, and then potentially Aussie dollars in a second, and maybe focus on those two pairs um, once more. Again, when you're looking at this 12 weeks to 26 weeks down the line, these can fluctuate quite heavily. Um, so this is a great indication, at least at the end of each and every month, to take a look at. So let's, so let's talk about the year-to-date currency pair success a little bit more. So as you can see, outstanding performances on Euro USD. So let's just say around 45 wins against about 18 losses. So, and also, guys, a good thing about weekly dashboards and inputting data into a weekly dashboard is that once you collate so many weeks, it's like this information isn't a fluke. You've got weeks and weeks and hundreds and hundreds of trades that this is taking data from. And again, I know that my best pair is Euro USD at the minute over the past six weeks, and my best trading day is a Tuesday. So I'd be looking to potentially, again, you've got to wait for what the market can offer you, but you know, whatever the trading condition is on a Tuesday for myself, I know I'm better performing on those days. Potentially that's because I've come off the back of a potentially on average a losing day. Heads more focused, looking to counteract that loss and find better entries and maybe the market stabilised on a Tuesday, that's where, in my diary, if you guys were to read it, Travis, 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 please do not trade on the Monday. Again, psychological barriers hit in. Travis trades on the Tuesday. His average losses are on Mondays. So again, that's where I tend to have a better day on a Tuesday. So that's where I, for myself personally, will be taking a leaf out of my own book. And again, taking this information off my dashboard into my next week's performance. So thought I'd give you a little bit of an insight on how I track my performance. Again, to this peak to again to this dashboard, there is literally I think two or three back sheets where I have to input three pieces of information. 
three inf pieces of information that I can get from my phone. So it's not really that tedious that I'm doing. It's super beneficial, guys. I'd highly recommend it. Now, depending on how long this video has been going on for, I might throw in a bit of analysis on Euro USD for next week, or you might catch that in another video. But guys, I hope this was useful for yourself. Again, with Rebirth, pure visibility, pure transparency. If you've got any questions, please do pop me up on Instagram or on tradingview.com. Again, my, my at is Travis underscore Dunks and we are happy to help. So again, guys, whilst in quarantine, please do stay safe, please do trade safe, and I always say follow all the steps that Rebef tell you in regards to trading, because you do need the full package to become a success in trading. So guys, thank you very much. Take care, I'll see you next time.